Now I will guide you to edit this photo. To understand how to set up the light. And how to use chiffon to take a beautiful photo shimmering and not casting shadows. This image completely no shadows. There is no spread and the light is focused only on the subject. You can learn this skill at Lighting Secret course. In this course, I has shared a lot of techniques for using light so that you can master outdoor lighting. www.lightingsecret.com This is an architectural photograph. Then I find that this architecture is a bit distorted, because super wide angles. Click on ACR. Choosing geometry and auto. Then this time Photoshop will straighten these columns for themselves. Okay. Then after I straightened this column. Then I will pull the picture out. From this place. Pull. Okay. Same over here. Pull the picture out. Duplicate the layer up. Zoom in. The part one will zone and press shift delete. Delete it. Photoshop is very clever. Okay. Then after I deleted it. This photo is quite far away, the skin is nice. Now I will adjust liquify a little bit for the image. The bride has a request to squeeze a little bit of her hand and back. Then the thing that squeezes this person depends on the wishes of the customer. But there is this part that I have to correct. I will squeeze the dress a little bit, make it softer. The second step is that I will pull this picture up a bit, so that I can make subject legs longer. To make the layout more beautiful, I let this vertex touch here. Then I will drag the picture down. Make the dress bigger. I don't do the skin this picture because it's very far away, so I will lighten the skin a bit. By choosing white skin. Sweep into this skin. This skin does not have much contrast, go to brush to choose contrast. Sweep onto skin. At this point, his skin has more contrast. It's uneven. It's a bit too much here. I won't scan this place. I'll continue with one more, contrast. Sweep into skin. And now scan it to the hand. Now I will reduce this contrast a little bit so that his arm doesn't have too much. Okay, so now I will try. After I changed my skin. Before, after. Its skin is brighter. Continuing to edit this photo, I will merge the layers. Choose a color that is fine arts. Here is the indoor, choose the indoor. Before, after. Okay, the color is very nice. These walls are a bit bright, it's not very pretty. So I will choose a brush here and add dark and scan to the image. Then when I scan this dark part. It not just dark also reduce the yellow color in this photo. You can see that my photo is now less colorless. Then I will avoid this light area, not sweep into this light area. I still think it's not available right? Before, after. Then I'll add another dark. Continue the same scan on the parts that are still stained. The parts that are covered with color are scanned in. The second time it starts it decolorizes again. It has reduced the yellow tint of this image already.
Then I saw that the area was still darkened. So I went on to pick another dark. Scan here. I will group these three dark layers together and see the results. Before, my picture is very bright and has a lot of color cast. After I used this dark, I got a picture of it with impressive colors. And then I will dodge and burn the photo. Then to dodge and burn, I will merge the layer. Here, merge all these layers together. Then, I will choose burn to darken. Now I will hit the areas where wants the image to darken. Dodge and burn is a technique that I shares a lot in the course. About photo editing in the fine art secret section. This is a very important technique in photo editing, you must master this technique. If I want to edit high class and impressive photos. After I darken it that my image has more depth. I will start adding detail to the photo, is to increase focus. This step it depends on your taste. Here you see, the line is very sharp. Some people don't like this feature, so they want to reduce it to about 50%, some people want 30%. This depends on your visual taste. Well, I likes it around 50% before, after. And now I will further block this image by being Sam choosing brush and contrast. At this point, I will begin to shape the dress. So where I draw, the dress will light up there. Don't care it's too bright. Because we can reduce it. Before, after. So if I feel it's bright, I reduce it a bit. As for the part of this chiffon, it's not bright enough, so I added another contrast. Only for the chiffon. And I will block this on some details of the photo. Brush to where you want it stand out. Note that I don't have to hit all of them, but I only block the parts that I want it to pop up. On these textures. The parts that I want it to pop up. Here I watch before, after. I can still continue to block by adding the detail. Brush detail. Then this brush detail also helps me highlight the highlights, the parts that I want it to block. Then you see with just a few simple steps. I've got a photo. Very different and very impressive. Next, I will guide you to make this picture a little more shimmering and magical. These windows, it doesn't have enough light right now. Then I'll turn it on. By the way I will now enter the fine art. Chose the warm color. Sunset warm. Then I did it again. Two times. Well, the color I think is a bit weird, but don't worry. I grouped these two together. After that, I created a mask. And I changed the direction of the mask. Press Ctrl plus I to change direction. So now this mask is black. Here is the top black, the bottom white. I change, I press X to change. And I increased the flow to 100%. Then now I will scan these windows. Then we will see that the bouncing windows hide their color. 
And these lights, I put a dot on this lamp. Click one dot on this lamp. I sweep in the parts where I want it to spread this golden light. As soon as I delete, I press invert the mask. I deleted the parts. So now I'm before, after. We see these windows. These lights are hidden, it creates more highlights for your photo. Maybe many of you will see in this photo it's a bit dark. It really doesn't matter, it's up to individual taste. I can increase the light by adding contrast. The picture is brighter. Or you add more. Here's a much brighter picture. Then depending on each person's taste, you prefer light or dark images. It is up to your taste. This one, Sam doesn't have a recipe. Just like there is no obligation that you have to adjust like this to be beautiful, to adjust like that to be beautiful. It's up to you. So many of you ask why this picture is so dark. Or is this photo overexposed? It turns out that each person's taste can't be right or wrong. But the important thing is how I like it, I will do it like that. As for the tool, it will help me to color and decolorize. Highlight the golden border light, making your photo more impressive. Adding more color, those sculpted photos are techniques you'll definitely need to know when you want to make a good edit. For example, here, this cabinet is too colored, it doesn't match the color of this space. Then we know how to handle it. Entered minus color cast, I subtracted the color. I thinks this color is orange, then I tries to subtract orange. Here except orange. Then it affects the whole image. So I changed this mask back. And now I have the mask. I whitewashed the above with X and increased it by 100%. Then I scanned into this cabinet. Then it will handle this cabinet color. Then here the tool will help me handle easily and quickly all my desires. The color is for you to decide. Then yes you might like this color. But yes you like this color. Then the measurement is up to your preference.